Hey folks, this is Matt Doyle, MLSsoccer.com's armchair analyst, and welcome back to another edition of Between the Lines. Today we'll be taking a look at Chicago Fire's Patrick Nyarko, their second striker who's not. Nyarko's listed as Dom Maduro's strike partner in just about every lineup and formation sheet you'll see, but the fact is he's an inverted winger. He's most likely to be found way out left by the touchline, combining with Gonzalo Sagares and Sebastian Grazzini, then going forward in small combinations trying to release Adaro into the box. This is classic wing play. He's not a second forward in the mold of a Freddie Montero or Omar Cummings, guys who are just as likely to get behind the defense as they are to stay in front of it and then release players into space. And while Nyarko isn't a typical second forward, what he is is very, very effective. He actually led the league in chances generated from the run of play last season and is doing so again this season. He's also second in the league in big chances created. These are the types of chances that you expect a forward to finish one-on-ones with the keeper, uh, open headers in the box, that type of thing. Unfortunately for Niarco's stats and for Dom Aduro's, Aduro has not finished them this year. He's converted only three of 11 opportunities. He leads the league in those opportunities and he gets a lot of them because of his speed, but his lack of cutting edge is killing the fire this season. Because of his speed, Niarco is known mostly as a guy who's effective in transition, and the truth is he's at his best there but he's also shown the ability to be a part of every build-up Chicago makes. He could beat guys off the dribble, and when he does, he finds space, creates, plays wall passes, and is able to really generate chances from one touchline to the next. That's why you have the Fire fan base screaming for a true number nine, a guy like Connor Casey or Kenny Cooper, guys who not only can be a part of the build-up with Niarco, but finish off the chances he gets at a decent clip. If they do find someone like that, then Nyarko has a chance to become just a third guy in MLS history to top 20 assists in a season. Probably won't happen this year, but there's always 2013.